Errol Spence. Like, what the fuck happened to you, nigga? Like, cataract surgery, two car accidents. Now you split ways with your trainer, Derek James, who he is suing your ass for, and you want to call out the winner of Tenzu Panzora and not worried about Terrence Crawford that whipped your ass last July? Like, why are you doing that? Nigga, like, why are you not trying to call out Terrence Crawford? Didn't you sign a rematch clause? You know what I'm saying? Why are you not calling out Terrence Crawford, man? But you want to fight the winner of Tim Zoo Pandora. I don't get that. Somebody make it make sense, man. Like, you supposed to be the big fish and all this stuff. But yet, like, you were radio silence. And I must admit, yeah, I wrote you off. I said, you should retire. Especially, you when you, when you talk about kicking a man while he's down, like, dude, two car accidents, cataract surgery, devastating, dominating loss. Now you're being sued by your coach, your former trainer, Derek James. And, you know, that's just basically kicking a man while he's down, right? And so with all these stuff that's going on, I'm just like, dude, you just need to retire, bro. I say you need to retire way before this uh, this lawsuit between you and Derek James. You know, I just said that just the odds are, are too much against you. You know what I'm saying? I said the odds are just way too much against you. But nonetheless, man, um, I, I just don't understand it. Why are you calling out Tim Zhu and the winner of Tim Zhu and Pandora? I don't get it. You, you got you got get back for Terrence Crawford. Now, the other side of the equation could be this. It could not be a duck. It could be he's trying to build up to for the rematch. So he may want to fight the winner of Tim Zhu Fandora, beat Dayas, and then call out Terrence Crawford at 154 for the mega rematch, which can draw more interest. Now that could be something that Al Hamden told um, told Errol Spence to do. Hey, call out Tim Zhu, the winner of Tim Zhu and Fandora, beat their ass, and build up the fight between you and Terrence Crawford. So it will have more attention because nobody's forgetting that one side of the ass open that Terrence Crawford did it to show ass. And of course, everybody, well, not everybody, but most people are saying that when you fought Terrence Crawford, you weren't yourself, right? You, you wasn't the Terrence Crawford. Um, that people are used to. And so you have an opportunity by facing the winner of Fandora, Tim Zhu, to prove to you that the old Errol Spence is back, the big fish is back, right? So that could be a possibility too, right? Could be a possibility too. So I'm looking at it at different perspectives, man. It's either, it's a, this is either a strategic move by Errol Spence or it's a flat out duck, one of the two. It ain't no gray area. It's one of the two. It's a flat out duck or a strategic move to build up the rematch for Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence. Right? So, but yeah, the good thing about it is I'm glad to hear from Errol Spence. And I believe this will be his first public appearance because he said he wanted to go to Vegas and call out the winner of Tim Zhu Fanzora. Oh, excuse me, Fandora. So, this will be his first public appearance since his devastating loss to Terrence Crawford last year. So it will be good for him to speak, right? If he does interviews and all that stuff. And uh, if he does, that's gonna be a lot of headlines. You know, after the fight with, with Tim Zhu and Fandora, if he decides to do interviews, man, it's gonna break the boxing internet. <laughs> You know, boxing in the niche sport, so it's not gonna break the internet. It's gonna break the boxing internet with all the headlines and stuff like that. But I'm looking forward to that if, if that is true. If he decides to come to the fight and do interviews, man, it's gonna be good to see him speak and make a public appearance and all that stuff. That'll be good for boxing, man. I'd love to see that. All in all, man, I just wanna see boxing you know, prevail. You know, I don't like to see the long tenure between him and Derek James fall out because of money issues. They've been together since day one. I mean, that, that's his day one. De De Derek James and Errol Spence, they're day ones. They've been there since the beginning, before the money, before the fame. They've been there since the beginning, you know what I'm saying? And I don't wanna see, I don't like to see that, that type of thing break up after all these years because of money issues 
regardless of whose fault it is or not, you know what I'm saying? I, I think those those issues should have been resolved behind closed doors. Where's Al Ham when you need him? Why why ain't Al Ham step up and be like, okay, you know what? What's the what's the money that's missing that you need, Derek James? I'll I'll give it to you. Where's uh Mayweather supposedly making three hundred million dollars a month? Where is he at to step in? You know what I'm saying? Like where's where's where is the Leonard Ellaby and all that? Like, like, where is these people at that talk about they got this money in boxing, but yet they sitting here watching the destruction of Derrick James and um, Errol Spence, you know, the, the, the dynamic duo. But where, where, where are these people at, man? You know what I'm saying? So those are the things I've been thinking about with all that's going on between Derrick James and, and Errol Spence and all that stuff. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Those are my thoughts on that. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think, family. Just had to, you know, drive and think while i am doing these videos. I'll be thinking about boxing about driving. I just wanted to get this off my chest, but let me know down below in the comment section. Do you think that this move or this call out of Errol Spence to fight the winner of Tim Zhu and Fandora, do you think it's a strategic move or do you think it's a duck? Let me know down below in the comment section, family. Until next time, signing out. Peace.